shit, it's still here, isn't it? I mean, bloody hell, look at that. Oh, God. That's pretty terrifying. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Can we maybe deal with that at some point? Right, um... So, to get upstairs... What on earth do we do? We can get through here. Cool. I'm just wondering if we can open any routes that allow us to um, backtrack, but it doesn't look like we can, unfortunately. Hmm. Don't look like we can open that either. I did, didn't try that before, did I? So I forget I'd give it a go. Okay. Oh shit, this is where dogs were. Fuck. Oh my god! Just bloody... Wait, no, there weren't dogs here before. What am I on about? There definitely weren't dogs here before. This is where Alfred was, wasn't it? Shit. Can they come upstairs? Don't look like it. Well, I've used my green herb there. Can't get through there. Um... Oh, you're kidding me. Is this where the emblem goes? It is as well. Oh shit, I should have just healed myself and brought it through here. I tell you what guys, I've only got 7% of this pistol ammo left. Ah, oh, bastard. Oh, oh my god, I actually ran out. Bad timing. Well, that's you put down. How many shots did I fire there? Oh, just one. Okay. In the previous game, you fired three. Oh, sorry, Resident Evil 2, you fired three, anyway. So, uh, there we go. I've pretty much finished off using the dual pistols. So I can leave those in the inventory now. Huh. I never saw this before. Well, what's this all about? There is an area that actually leads down right here. This is where I ran through before because Alfred was sniping me. Oh, right. It's just on the other side of here then. Okay, well, at least I connected dots there. So I know that that leads through to there. It's a shame we don't have that blue keycard. Because I'd have a great load of use for it. Alright, gotta be careful of the fucking earthworm again, wherever it- Oh shit, of course it would appear right under me. Mate, I can't see. A fucking huge head is in the way. Alright, now I can start collecting shit. Can I climb up there? I can. Thought as much. Hey, hey, hey. Right, I noticed that we picked these up in, like, packs of 15. Hmm, I, I, I don't know if- Would they pick 15? Would they fit 15 in them? Judging by the picture where you can see, like, a few bullets sort of coming out of it, you know. Three, so, one, two, three. I suppose it would, actually, uh, if it was five rows of them. But it looks like it could probably contain a tiny bit more than five. Has he gone now? Yeah, he has, hasn't he? He was right here before, actually. Ooh, he's taken the body? Alright, then. Don't want to question what he's doing with that right now. Have I really given myself enough inventory space here? Just thinking about things, like... Hmm. I suppose there's not a lot of point in us picking up all that, um... You know, um... Picking up all the explosive rounds and acid rounds and shit that are down there. I suppose it's better we get those later. Just to save inventory space. We only need one inventory space remaining, though, so I'll keep that in mind while I go run around and pick everything up. Because by that logic, we might be okay. Please say this is the right kind of handgun. Yes, it is. Right. Okay. Um, so if I... Okay, okay, okay. If I use it... I don't know. What about if I equip it? Yeah. But, 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 
button. There is a handgun part placed on the work desk. Oh! No! No, 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 no. I read that completely wrong, didn't I? It says cannot be used. Shit! Oh, fucking hell. Can't believe I ran all this way around just for that shit. Oh well, whatever. Don't matter. So, maybe I need another kind of gun. Right, let's take this emblem then. Eagle plate. Hmm. There is evidence of a picture being uh, was hung here, even. Can we take down this picture? I mean, it would be wise after finding that behind it, you know. But, apparently Claire doesn't want to do that. I'm going to leave uh, these ink ribbons and the printer right here and not bother saving there. I think probably the best thing to do would be to check out to see if this emblem actually works in the um, the area that we just came across and then straight after that if it doesn't and then take it up to the area where the execution uh, the guillotine was because there was a little sort of emblem shaped thing over there I think not 100% certain that is the case but right at the top of the stairs here we just pop it in See if this works. We're right next to the inventory as well, so that'll be kind of handy. Oh, has that actually just provided us with the... an emblem card? Oh, right, this may well be the card. Emergency card. Indigo blue it is. Huh. Alright then, um, I wasn't expecting to get this so soon. So it isn't for the... Um, execution area after all so that means we can open up a lot of different places now surprising very surprising huh. well I'm not gonna complain but like that's kinda of fucked with my head a little bit based on you know the fact that we suddenly can open up a lot of different areas I'm gonna pop a few things in the inventory while I'm up here I think so now we can open this, you see, from the other side. That opens this area up. And climb down here. Though, hmm. It's a machine used for the ventilation, yeah. I really don't understand how the ventilation works, unfortunately. And it says there's a, like, instructions for it up here, but... It says raise the lever as illustrated. And the lever is next to the ladders, apparently, but I don't actually see any lever next to the ele uh, next to the elevator. I mean ladders. No, I definitely do see a <laughs> Right, okay, so there we go. Wait, it's already on? Oh, okay then. So I'm a bit confused. Let's keep on moving. I don't think we can do anything with that. I thought I'd actually just been completely ignorant and not noticed something there, and that's why I need the lights right more often, really. Uh, but yeah, that wasn't very clever of me, but it didn't help at all anyway. Right, so we can now open this area, and there's, there's that nice gun there. Anything else in here, though? kind of worried there's like a huge enemy. Yeah, it's a grenade launcher, that's fantastic. Uh, there's a door. Yes, there is a door. And it looks like an area that we've been in before. But wait a moment. Oh no, I know what's through there. And it's not nice. Ugh. Um, at least I think I do anyway. <sighs> I heard something moving when I went into the other part of that room. I believe it's that thing, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, I... Because it said about the handgun, I figured I'd just bring this back here, but it doesn't look like we can use it. I don't think that's called class as a handgun, technically, but... According to the uh, description, it was. A handgun which fired... Bow. Bows? Bows? No, what am I on about? Arrows, even. I am so confused by this workbench. I, I, I'm just going to have to assume that we 
can find another handgun later. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head back up to the inventory because I'm not content with what we're carrying around at the moment, obviously, due to the fact um, I've had to swap things out a little and uh, bring these extra guns along just to check to see if the handgun upgrade is actually not just for those. But that's no problem because it's just around the corner really, isn't it? So Maybe we should take the hemostatic back to the guy. I mean, like, how much longer is he going to last for? Maybe he does actually die if we leave it too long. I mean, that could bloody affect my ending, for all I know. The ending of the game, you know. Um, any in here? Yes, there is. Shit. Unfortunately, I haven't got my knife with me, so we're going to have to pistol it. Excuse me. Right. Right, here he is. What are you doing here? I came to help you. Because I'm nice. There you go, matey. Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. She just wanted to touch him. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Oh, brilliant. Now go. Don't worry about me. Oh, am I glad that I did that. Uh, can I not... I can Oh, I... Oh. I missed the lighter though already. <sighs> Don't think you can count on me in the future. Now get out of here. Oh come on. This bloody saved your life. Well, possibly. I don't know. So, I now need to memorize exactly well, I need to remember more like where exactly I found lockpick areas. And that was in quite a number of places from what I recall. Without the lighter now, I'm gonna have to be double as observant. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? I'm going to be missing so many different things. Right, so here, can we actually open this thing? Huh, never mind. Oh shit, there it is. Right. It comes out from different areas all the bloody time. <sighs> right, so... The first area I remember seeing a lockpick... Well, lockpickable thing was actually in here, I think. Not 100% certain that is the case, but... What the hell does that sound? Right, there we go. Thought as much. Oh, just some handgun ammo. Well, I'm not going to complain, but that is a bit cheap. Right, so here's another lot pickable thing, and I think it's pretty obvious what this has inside it. Da 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 da! But you weren't expecting that. Some massive rounds. These are good against living things. Um, so. I oh, can actually probably check these, see what, um, special bullets filled with sulfuric acid. So yeah, they, they're good against fleshy kind of creatures for the most part, or plants, that sort of stuff, you know. If you need to trim your garden, just better just throw some sulfuric acid all over it and, um, you know, watch everything just dissolve, I suppose. Um, so yeah, very nervous, but let's jump into this area here. I have a feeling it's just going to have more of those things inside it. Oh god, my god, that was just nasty. Oh, no. Fucking hell. You know, don't give me chance to do anything. Right, where's the other one? There he is. You dick. I have taken, um, a little bit of, uh... <sighs> Sorry, heart's racing. Um, yeah, I got rid of the single herb and replaced it with a mixed herb. Should be alright. Sorry, I thought I needed to reload, actually, because I thought three shots. No, six, isn't it? We did get a three shot one at the beginning for some reason. They go down pretty well, like, with this shit. So, I think we should be alright. What's this? Oh, more blow, uh, more blow gun. My god. How come I, my tongue is getting in such a twist in this let's play? Something about it which is causing that. Switchboard. It's tightly sealed. I can't operate it. Is there any more of these things around? 
But yeah, that was just nasty. Like, as soon as I come through the door, just whack. Nasty, nasty things. So I was on the other side of here. That's where I heard them, I guess. Hmm. What can I do here? There is a door. But let's have a look at the um, various things that we can probably do otherwise. Stop twitching like that. It's making me nervous. Uh, so there's a switchboard, but we can't access it. There is... Uh, switch is broken, right? Okay, then. So I can't use that either. Great. So all we can do is actually just go through this door here. Where on earth is Alfred? He could just be comfortably sat in his palace for all I know. Antibacterial work clothes are stored here. Maybe you should put some on, Claire, because... This looks kind of familiar. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't go in here. Yeah. Don't look like I can anyway. It appears to have been destroyed violently. It's possible from the T-Virus leaked from here. What? Oh, it's possible that the T-Virus leaked from here, even. Yeah, so we don't want to go in there, really. I don't think that would be a good idea. But what else can we do? Um, We can head back to the mansion. The palace, sorry. Palace. Yeah, it's definitely a palace. I uh, don't think there's anything else we can do. Oh, we can climb on here. What's that going to do, though? Can we climb up there? No. There's really no point in this, is there? At least it'll look like it. Okay, well. Why is that happening? My pad just vibrated violently there. Huh. Alright, well, um, yeah, looks like we just gotta do some backtracking to the mansion. Unfortunately, that's hit a bit of a dead end, hasn't it? Palace! Not mansion. Palace. Yes. What about the, um... The prison security area? Is there any point in going back there yet? Was any of that lockpickable? I don't think it was. But... Hmm. Oh, what about the upstairs areas of these places as well? Like, was anything lockpickable up there? Again, I don't think that was. And also, what about the blue security car? Can I use that to open up any areas? We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Aha! Right. This is the second floor. Didn't think to Luke here. <sighs> of course, we haven't actually used the card fully, have we? Oh my god, right, okay. You no longer need the emblem card, so I can discard it now. Great. Oh, Jesus. What the hell happened to him? Whatever happened to him is probably going to happen to me pretty soon. I'm not looking forward to it at all. So we can go through this door by the looks of it. Uh, that was originally locked from the other side. Oh, well, locked from this side. Great. Herbs. Just what I need. Um, stack a few of those into us, then. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much. Worst comes to worst, I can always go back, you know, to, um... Oh, here we go, here's another proof. Right, biohazard breakout in the bio-experiment room. Turn... Switch the security monitor, okay. Um... Something's gonna make me jump here, isn't it? I mean, this is where the scientist died. What are we looking for here? I mean, like, wasn't something trapped in here with him? Uh. Oh, right, of course, we can use this to look at the picture. Uh, at least, it can we? I can't really see it very well, actually. Can't we zoom in? Oh, there we go. Ah! Haha! <laughs> Haha! Yes! Um, ow! My spine! Sorry, back problems. Uh... So, it is... One, one, two, six. So there we go. What's that useful for? 
I really don't remember. The bio, uh, the bio experiment room has finished ventilating. Oh, right, we can actually go up there as well. The pass number door lock system has been enabled. Oh, fuck. Right, okay, you're all getting up. That's nice. Okay, let's uh, try and run back a bit. Just so I can take these guys down, just in case I have to come through here again, you know. Why bother getting bitten any more than I need to? No, 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 no. A fucking hell? That was lucky. Wasn't expecting to reload there. Right, so we haven't been up here. Let's have a look. Um. Oh. The L. L. Albinoid? Description. A creature which is created by injecting the T virus into the genes of a salamander. Oh. Characteristics. What the fuck? That looks like. Well, I'm not even going to say what that looks like in case I might offend some female viewers. Similar to a normal amphibia, clearly I don't know what one looks like anyway, an, al an albinoid. <laughs> Sorry, albinoid, that sounds ridiculous. Or albinoid. Albin albinoids, maybe. Body will change as it grows with age. When young, an albinoid is small in size, but it can grow in over 7 feet. Uh, sorry, two over seven feet in a very short time frame, ten hours. Really? They possess, uh, sorry, they possess height mobility. Oh my god, I cannot read. High mobility and are able to discharge electricity? Are you fucking me? This is ridiculous. These characteristics are most noticeable, or notable even, when they are under water in their adult. This is bullshit. Like, what kind of... how how does that even work? Various commands may have been given from here. Like, do your fucking work! Or I'll blow your brains out. That kind of command, I'm guessing. <sighs> yeah, this is fucking ridiculous. What the hell? How would you create that kind of thing? Like, discharges electricity. Really? Like, that is some grade A bullshit right there. Uh, right, I see where this goes now, actually. This probably just loops around in a circle, thinking about it. Why am I checking the handgun bullets? I can check the army proof, but I'm pretty much certain I know what that goes. Sorry, know what it goes into, should I say. A picture of a jeep is carved on it. So, yes, I was right to think that there's more than one, and that we need to find three in total. Let's try going in here now. I believe this is just the area where Albus originally locked us into. Oh wait, no it isn't. It's the other side of the shutter, actually. Oh. Sorry, I was thinking it was, um... Let's find it. The area on the far left. It looks sort of similar, you know, with the stair and... Well, the stairs and everything, you know. So the ventilation system's now turned off. I could continue looking around this place thinking about it, but... Um... Where does that mean I can go? It's on the second floor up the stairs, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, I remember now. Where does the... Where does the... Where does the passcode go? Oh my god, it's so hard to remember all this shit. <sighs> this is really a memory game. Like, this is the most memory-heavy Resident Evil I've ever played. There is just so much to remember. So, so much. Right, so you can go down here. I changed inventory layouts a little bit, if you don't mind. I've got um, key items, healing items, guns, and then ammo's gonna go here, but we don't have any apart from um, what's already... Uh, we can't actually just merge that in. That's not very friendly, is it? Wait, there is... Oh, fuck it. I'll just keep the guns and the ammo together. It's fine. It not make a difference, does it? I can get rid of uh, some of the herbs, though. There's not much point in carrying these around when I've got this. Um, but yeah, I'll combine that into that, and then, um, we'll, we'll check, um, upstairs, this upstairs area, you know, see what the hell that's all about. Better be careful, because there might be things around here now. You never know. No, the, it's still locked, actually. So I can use the biohazard card on this door. It's now open. No longer need the biohazard card, so I can get rid of that one now. So, that's every 
every area possible open in this place, I believe. Uh, anywhere we're missing at all? It's the airport, where am we going? How do you go up? Okay, there we go. Hmm. Just looks like the other side of that balcony is was the thing that was missing. And then obviously, like, um... I don't think there's anything on the basement floor. Oh, wait. Maybe the contaminated place at the bottom of here was actually cleared up. We could check that at some point, but let's go up these stairs first. And uh, confront whatever joy is awaits us up here. Um, let's try going in here first. I don't think we can, actually. Yeah, that's a shame. Right. So, I guess we have to... go into this room instead actually. Can we just enter here? Oh right, here we go. So it's one, one, two, six. Uh, they had a bit of a ridiculous system going on here, I have to admit. Let's enter here then. Um, I'm not entirely sure why I'm going in here, if I'm being honest. Like, What on earth Claire, Claire's motives is for wanting to be in this place? She's looking at something. It's this guy's corpse. Okay. What the hell killed him, though? I thought it was just one of those things. Um, experimental objects may have been put inside. Okay. That's wonderful. Oh. Some kind of bodies here before or something? Can we go through here? Oh. Oh, right, yeah, the skeleton picture of Cook. That's gonna grow. And then it's gonna murder me. Claire? Oh. It might kill itself. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Right, uh, it doesn't seem to be working. That's very nice. Will you fuck off with your electricity, please? He's already dead, yeah. Oh, shit, I can't actually go in there, can I? Because he's in the way. So, alright, alright, we're running, we're running, where are we going? Do we need to take the skeleton picture, or do we just need to fuck out, out of this place? Like, what the fuck is with the contamination happening every five minutes? Uh, guessing I just need to get down these stairs in time, actually. Yeah, that does seem to be the case. Whoa! Okay, I wasn't in control over there, I thought I was. That scared me a little. Okay, so uh, now we have another puzzle piece, by the looks of it. We can put the, um, the picture back. But now there's salamanders all over the place, or at least one of them has escaped. All the rest is stuck in that room, uh, providing they grow fast enough not to go through that, through the ventilation system. But there is one in the, ve in the ventilation system. Yeah, that's not good. Particularly if they grow in at seven... Uh, ugh, sorry, I'm nearly running into that. Particularly if they grow nearly seven feet in just a few hours. How many hours do you reckon I can complete this game in? Fast enough to avoid that completely? I hope so. Wait, where am I going? The wrong way is the correct answer. I need to go down the ladder, don't I? There's zombies in here now? How has that happened? Um... We just need to go down here, so... Oh, bloody hell. There's a zombie right in the way of us. Oh. Clay, you're kind of shooting the... Why are you shooting at the wall? May as well take these guys down, I guess. Just so I can avoid them on the way out. Is he crawling? He is. Stop it. Thank you. Right, so into this room. I hope I'm not injured too much. I haven't saved the game in an hour and a half now. I need to be really careful. Oh, speak of the devil, there is a, the possibility of saving the game right here, actually. Let's pop the U on here. Da 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 da! And what's this? It's a key. A gold key. Oh! Right. That'll open up certain parts of the palace, won't it? Uh, oh. 
I thought that picture looked a bit sexy, to be honest, and then I realised it's just this guy as a skeleton. I am not aroused in the slightest now by this picture, but previously clearly was. It's a diorama modelled after this facility. Is that how you pronounce it? Diorama? I don't know. There's a hole to put something in. <laughs> There's always holes to put things in in Resident Evil. It's secured with a simple lock. I'll use the lockpick on it, thank you very much. What's in here? First aid spray. No, fuck off. Yeah, these do affect your rank in this game. Or so I have been told, so I will definitely avoid using them at all costs. Um, dedicated to the training facilities completion. December the 8th, Alfred Ashford. Oh, okay. Wait, is there something? There is something on the floor down there to the left. Don't know if you guys can see it, but I most certainly can. Maybe we got a... As if Claire isn't like... Shh clever enough to bloody climb over that or something like that. Um, but yeah, it is coming up to the time where we have to finish up. But this has been a much longer session, just probably not from what you guys are seeing, if you get what I'm saying, because there was a lot of cuts there for obvious reasons. Lots of backtracking, lots of running backwards and forwards as such. Um, but yeah, I feel like in the next part we're just going to be moving across to the palace. Um, what about the metal detector area? Like... We definitely have to go back to that at some point, but how on earth do we get back to it? Where is it? Passage, Iron Bridge, Prison. Right. No. Is that the right place? The prison... That's that's the building that we ran around in a circle. Where is the... No, there it is, yeah. At the bottom, that's the door that you can't get through because, yeah, there was something to do with um, opening the door. It was held from the other side or something like that. But we haven't actually checked our emails in ages, have we? Uh, maybe it's a good idea to do that. I don't know. Like, what one thing I've noticed about Resident Evil is it can be based around timing and doing certain things in certain at certain times, you know, and stuff like that. It can be really weird sometimes. But, um, I think this is an ideal place to save, and maybe we can go back to the uh, the prison area in the next part, since it's relatively nearby. Maybe we should have done that when we went to get the hem give the hemostatic to the uh, dude who was at the beginning. It was nice that we managed to save him and get the lock pick, because I feel we would have been a bit lost without it, really. Uh, yeah, guys, um, thank you very much for joining me for this session, like I said, and I hope it's getting to you at a reasonable time, but... That's going to be the last session for a little while, unless, of course, it's been like, I don't know, a month or so, you know, since the previous session, well, the, the, the session before that, due to these copyright claims I've been going through, then maybe you can expect the next part pretty much straight after this, if you catch my meaning. But, um, I hope you're not too disappointed with that, but it would be nice to get the new microphone and not have this weird fuzziness that's going on in the background, get rid of my voice you know, uh, sorry, clear up my voice a bit and stuff like that in regards to that. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning and everything, be really careful of spoilers or what I consider to be spoilers, you know, let me do my own thing, let me fail, let me get on with the game, etc. Sure, I don't need to, you know, you probably feel like people who've done this kind of stuff, you know, and uh, caused me to have to talk about this, you must be feeling like that I'm literally just having a go at you at the moment, but I, I'm really sorry if you feel that way. Uh, it's really not the case, obviously, I have to mention this. It happened in Tomb Raider 3 as well, ages back, and people were telling me things way in advance, like before I even needed to know them, and I could. it would have been much more fun if they just would have let me do my own thing, if you catch what I mean. I hope I'm making a good amount of progress, hope you're happy with me. I do get that obviously like using the lighter was a good idea and that maybe I wasn't very observant towards the beginning and of course that was probably why the game was grating on, you know, about checking items and stuff like that in comparison to the previous games where it didn't tell you so much because it is really important in this game, clearly, but yeah, I obviously, I'm new to this game, didn't notice that, easy mistake to make, I'm getting used to it now getting used to checking things, it's a good idea, etc. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching anyway, and I'll see you for the next part whenever that might be.
Take care of yourselves.